Morning everybody. Morning everybody. Well, what a change in the weather. Yep. <laughs> the last time we were out, we were absolutely melting. <laughs> it was about 29 degrees. Today, it's quite cold and very windy. But, there you go. Can't have it always, can you? Now, we've come back to a permission that we were on a couple of weeks ago because once again we've noticed that he's cut the grass in various places uh, so we'll get on with it see if we can find anything and we'll catch you on the first decent signal that either Al gets or I get yep. and I will be talking briefly later on about the new upgrade for the Deus 2 and my personal thoughts on it now I've tried it okie dokie right catch you all later everybody you later unless it rains Right, let's just have a walk over to uh, Al, see what he's found. I can't put the tripod up just here because the wind will blow it over. What you got, mate? Coin, but it's a bit toasted. Oh, coin? All right, I'll tell you summer. That is rock hard, that man. It is. The ground in this field is like concrete, even though we've had some decent rain. We might get some off it, but it's light. Yeah. Uh, it looks a little bit toasted. 26 that come up at 26 yeah. bloody hell I'm just gonna check the old because I think you're at 26 by a yeah, cracking signal then yep right rock air ground we'll bring in a JCB next time mate <laughs> right catch you later everybody <laughs> right well it's still a little bit too windy at the top of the field for the tripod but although in saying that the wind has died down a bit right Al reckons he's got another decent find what we got yep just found this here, buckle or something, but I'm not sure, but it's got a lovely pattern on it. Oh, yeah. Both sides, I don't know what, what, oh, it, what yeah. it was, belt, I buckle, I don't know. Yeah, could have been part of a belt or something. But like you say, it's got a lovely pattern on it. Lovely pattern here. Yeah. Well, that's well, a cracking little find, mate. Not too deep not either. Not too deep at all, and a little bit better dig in, even though it's still rock hard. <laughs> still like concrete, <laughs> I know. Right then, yeah, right. I like that. Okie dokie, right, nice one mate, we'll crack on. Right then, well, hopefully I've managed to find a relatively sheltered spot from the wind. <laughs> with, not, with not much success. Anyway, the new update, 2023, for the DS2. Now when it came out, as you would expect, there were a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of the videos were made by the so-called experts but what you've got to bear in mind is a lot of these experts are affiliated to and sponsored by Deus so as you can imagine most of them gave it a glowing report now I watched a lot of videos by ordinary detectors and I spoke to a lot of ordinary detectors and a lot of them weren't happy with it the reason being that they were starting to find lots of small iron which they weren't finding before and as a result of that a lot of them have got rid of the new update and gone back to the previous version now I didn't update at first but I decided to give it a go and guess what I tried it for a few hours and I was finding a lot of small iron that I wasn't finding before so, my advice is, try it out if you want, obviously, but I still go with the old adage, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So, like a lot of other people, I've got rid of the new update, and I've gone back to the previous update, and I'm not finding any small iron. Okay, that's just my opinion. Try it out for yourself, but that is what a lot of people have said that I've spoken to. Before, finding no small iron, put the new update on, finding lots of small iron. Okay, right. I'll see how much further I can get in this horrible wind. Catch you later. Right, <coughs> well, Al reckons he's back on the silver yeah. once again. It's third week running. I know. Not too deep, lovely signal. Uh, just there, Rob. Well, it's got to move in it. It looks like another bloody silver sixpence. Hello, turnist. 
I can't quite make it out. I think it's I think it's a silver sixpence anyway. Like you say, it's quite tarnished on that side. Yeah. But once again, should clean up very nicely. Yep. Oh yeah, I, I think I can see Victor. Oh, you can see Victoria's head. Yeah. Well, <laughs> silver once more. Yep. Right, well done, that man. See if I can find anything now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy with that. I just think you're bloody are, and all. Right, I've got a relatively interesting find down here. Only about four inches deep. And it's uh, part of the nose band off a horse. Uh, it's got the hinge on it, just there. Made out of solid brass. Um, probably from the 1800s. Uh, but, a nice little find. Some of them usually have writing on, maybe the maker's name, something like that. But uh, as I say, it's an interesting little find. Right, we'll pop that into the box and we'll crack on. Right, <laughs> I'm chancing the tripod on this one. If it blows over, it blows over. <laughs> anyway, got a target down here, it's about five inches deep. Uh, cracking signal came up at about 78 79 it's still in the little clumpy thing it looks like a small coin with a hole in it as though it was made into some sort of medallion anyway I'll bring it over and we'll have a look together and that's it just there I don't know what it is And I doubt very much whether there's anything on it. That's the imprint just there. And that's it. Um, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Like I say, I don't think there's anything on it. But don't go away, because Al has just said he's found something interesting. Says it's some sort of lead medallion or something. So bring it over, Al. Let's have a look. So... As I said, I'll pop this away and we'll just wait for Al to uh, bring his lead thing over, whatever it is. I thought at first it was a bottle top. It's lead. Oh no, it's not a bottle top, is it? Someone wrote on it. Oh yeah, have a look at that. It's got like... Shields. Some little, some little shields on it. And some writing in the middle. Might be some sort of commemorative thing or something like that. Well, it's a nice find anyway. Oh, nice one, mate. Pretty deep, that as well. Yeah, deep. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, we'll crack on. Right, well, I'll just quickly show you this what I've just dug up. It's only about oh, maybe four inches deep. Um, I'm not entirely sure. There's nothing on the other side, but on this side, it looks as though it was silver plated. It's definitely not a button. There's no sign of any shank. Um, so I don't really know. It's got a rim running round the edge. Some writing. Someone's face in the middle that looks as though it may be facing right. As I say, it looks as though it was silver plated at some point. But what it is, I don't know. At first I thought it was a small Roman, but I doubt it very much. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure. If anybody's got any thoughts on that, please leave me a comment. Because I haven't got the faintest idea. Right, we'll pop that away and I think I'll go for some lunch. Well, first of all, let me apologise for the lack of tripod work today but the wind conditions have been absolutely horrendous. I've tried three or four times and it just keeps blowing the tripod over uh, and I really don't want to break the camera. Anyway, I've got a find down here. It's only about three inches deep. It looks as though it might be made out of bronze. I'm fairly sure it's got a pattern on it and I think it looks very interesting. So, I haven't got it out of the ground yet. I'll bring you a bit closer and we can have a look together and see exactly what we've got. Right. 
Well, that's the item just down there. It looks roundish. Looks as though it's got some sort of design on it. <laughs> Watch it turn out to be a load of rubbish. <laughs> oh dear. The, the ground conditions are absolutely atrocious. I'm not joking, it is so difficult to dig even three or four inches down. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's part of a crotal bell. <laughs> oh, well, bugger me. It is only part as well. Oh. Well, I'm not complaining, it's a nice find. But I, th I thought it was going to be something a lot more interesting than than that but it looks looks like a very old one and it, it has got a design on it uh, just a pity it's not all there anyway not to worry I'll check the immediate area see if there's any sign of the rest of it but I doubt it very much right we'll pop it away and get a bit further right then you wonderful people now Quite a lot of my viewers have expressed an opinion, either through email or by messages on social media, asking me why I don't do the roundup at the end of the video anymore, as opposed to putting photographs in the video, which I normally do now. Because they were saying that they much prefer to see the finds once they'd been cleaned up and waxed in more detail, which I can understand. And obviously I've got to take my viewers' opinions into account. So, for a trial period only, we will be going back to doing the roundup at the end of the video, showing the finds in detail, and hopefully, depending on what kind of feedback I get, I'll continue to do the roundup at the end of the video. So, if you prefer to see a roundup at the end of the video and a look at the finds in detail, or if you prefer to see photographs in the video, please let me know. I would appreciate it. Okie dokie. Right then, let's have a look at the finds. Right, well this is part of a decorative bridle piece from a draft horse's nose. Uh, it's got a hinge on it there. It would have opened out that way, sort of thing. Uh, as I said, it will go across the horse's nose just as a decorative item, that's all. And obviously elsewhere on the horse there would have been Martindale's uh, brasses hung all over the horse just to make it look more attractive. They, they really used to go to town on decorating the horses in those days, uh, but sadly no longer anymore. Wouldn't quite look right on a tractor, would it? <laughs> anyway, that's that. This is the best coin that was dug up on the day as you can see it's a silver sixpence the date is 1881 and on the other side is a very young Queen Victoria lovely coin that absolutely smashing that's that this after doing some research I found out that this actually is a coin and it was struck to commemorate the visit of Prince Albert to Sheffield in 1875. And as you know, uh, Prince Albert was the eldest son of Queen Victoria, who she wasn't very keen on because of all his shenanigans. Anyway, that's what that is. A commemorative coin struck for the visit of Prince Albert in 1875. That's that. This item here haven't got a clue, could be part of a farthing, quarter farthing, half farthing, who knows, been made into a, dalian, a medallion for whatever reason, don't know why, there you go, that is a crusty coin that was also dug up, now this is a really nice find, some sort of very old leather decoration, how old it is, I don't really know, but we do dig some seriously old stuff up on that land. I'll have to do some more research because I really don't know how old that is, but it does look extremely old. 
So that was that. Oops, dropped it. <laughs> oh, every bloody time. That's the part of the crotal bell that I dug up. It's a very old one, you can tell because it's been cast in one piece, decorated on the top just there. You can also tell it's a very old one by the shape and the design of the hanging loop. Uh, it probably dates back to about 1500. Nice find, just a shame it's not complete. So that's that. This is another cracking find. This is a lead medal and it was struck to commemorate the fact that a chap called Mark Firth gave a huge tract of land to the people of Sheffield and they turned it into a park and it's now called Firth Park and that was donated to the people of Sheffield in 1875. Now Mark Firth at the time apart from being the Lord Mayor was an extremely wealthy man he owned massive steelworks in the east end of Sheffield covering hundreds of acres. Such a wealthy man, it's unbelievable. Uh, I mean, the name Firth Steel is well known in Sheffield. It became Firth Brown and then Firth Vickers. Uh, on that side there, you can see it's, it says, uh, opening of Firth Park given to the people of Sheffield, blah de blah de blah by Mark Firth and the opening ceremony of the park was attended by the Prince and Princess of Wales and that would once again be Prince Albert and his wife who was Princess Alexandra um, so yeah it's an absolutely beautiful little find that it's, I mean it, it, it was in poor condition but I've managed to straighten it out a bit uh, but as I say 1875 commemorative medal for Firth Park in Sheffield. Absolutely cracking find that. I love it. Anyway, that's that. But to me, this is the star of the show. And I suspect that that is extremely old. It's just got that look about it. Such a beautiful, deep, rich patina. It's not off a horse, it's too delicate. What it is off, I don't know. But the next time I go to the Portable Antiquities, I'm taking that with me, because I think that that is seriously old. What it was, I really don't know, but I do like it. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, those are the finds, my friends. Right then, <clears throat> well, not tons of finds but some very very nice finds especially that bracelet belt buckle thing whatever it is i really don't know what it is but i will find out as i said i'm going to take it to the portable antiquities to see if they can shed some light on it because as i said i really think that's got some serious age to it anyway anyway those were the finds it was a good day out very enjoyable apart from the wind and the horses <laughs> anyway thank you very much for joining us both and we'll see you the next time round my friends bye for now